Hey guys, Chad at Spy Racing Heads. Hey, I've been playing on the internet here and I'm seeing some stuff that's driving me crazy. So I'm going to tell you, in my opinion, the proper way. And I'm going to show you why it's important, why port volume is important, why what it flows is important, all of it. We're going to start with this. I target a velocity. That velocity is totally up to the cylinder head porter. A comp engine is going to be different than a bracket engine. A bracket engine is going to be different than a street engine. It's all up to the porter. After I figure that target, I will flow the head. So what I recommend to head porters, any new head porter, is the first thing you need to do is flow that thing, see what it's flowing versus how much area is there. And I'll show you why it's important. I've got a cylinder head that's got two and a half inches and it flows 320. That's pretty damn close to my 310. I'm happy with that. Let's say I flow that cylinder head and it's got 330 CFM and it still has two and a half inches. Oh heck, I need that's fast. That's not my target. So what would I do? Make that bigger. Make that minimum bigger to match that 330. Let's say I put that cylinder head on there and it's an absolute turd. Flows 269. You need to work on this. Do not touch that. Make it flow more air. That's what you have to do. You have to flow more air. You get that air up with that cross section, you will get your feet per second up. Pretty simple. Anybody that I know that does this for a living that's been doing it a long time has a target velocity. Now, port volume. Back in the day, this is what we talked about. CCs. Yeah, you can't, you can't compare the head because of this right here. Port length, port length different, longer, bigger port. But if you know these three things, you can pick a cylinder head the proper way, which is the length of the port times this number divided by the port volume gives you this average cross section. You use stuff like pipe max. It doesn't give you a minimum. It gives you an average cross section. That is how you choose a cylinder head. It's all Average cross section. Another thing you got to do, you got your frick two and a half inches at the push rod. You can't go back in the bowl and put three inches. It's got to be a balanced port. I use a J tube in all my work. I've got cylinder heads I could put right here dead center from start to finish and they fluctuate 10 feet per second. That's a balanced port. What happens when you put a plastic in the corners? You sped that up, even though, even though you have a calculated area like some guys use, you need to use a pitot tube. It will be different than calculated. The pitot tube is your best friend. It's the light that your flow bench is the lifeblood for that pitot tube. Get one, learn how to use it. Probe corners, probe short sides. Then you'll figure out how ports need to be how the ports need to look. You gotta slow the air over the short side. How do you do it? Your pitot tube will tell you, I promise. If you trust what you're seeing with your pitot tube, you'll make good ports, I promise. So I see this stuff where it says, flow don't matter, minimum don't matter, CCs don't matter, port volume don't matter, yeah.